Hi everyone, it's uh, Chris Bulin here. It's um, January of 2011 and uh, as uh, some of you know if you've checked out the disaster page on my website um, you know that I had a pretty bad accident back in uh, June of uh, 2010. It took me uh, quite a while to recover from that um, because I was literally uh, run over by a truck and um, for the most part, I'm physically okay. I have a few aches and pains and things like that, and my hand doesn't work completely like it used to. But um, my main problem is my $55,000 uh, medical bill um, because there's a problem with my insurance company, and I got into a big lawsuit with them right now, and I'm, um, but it's going to be years before that gets resolved. So if you can, um, please uh, feel free to contribute. Uh, just go to the disaster page, and um, there's a place where you can um, submit donations via PayPal um, or if you want you can also use the if you click on if you might have noticed that I put uh, Google Ads on my website and if you click on the Google Ads um, I get paid um, anyway um, today I'm going to be talking about uh, some more about measuring the um, clutch and trying to figure out uh, one of the things I needed to figure out was whether or not the throw-out bearing, the hydraulic throw-out bearing that comes with the GMF-40 six-speed transaxle is compatible with the MR2 master cylinder um, because the MR2 master cylinder may or may not be the same bore as the master cylinder that uh, uh, is on the Pontiac G6 which is what the transmission comes out of. So I um, rigged up uh, a test to figure that out. I also needed to know if the throw-out bearing had enough throw for the pressure plate and clutch disc that I'm using for this project because obviously I'm not using a G6 um, pressure plate um, or clutch and the last thing I had to figure out was how thick my um, flywheel adapter needs to be um, because the current the flywheel that I've got is made for the North Star but it's made for a Fiero transmission which has a shallower bell housing and I needed to uh, figure out how thick how much further the flywheel has to be spaced into the transmission bell housing. Um, so in the next part of this video, I'll show you more details on that. 